Welcome back to Hilton Coliseum where the Cyclones are 9-0 this year. Let's check the starting lineups brought to you by Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. You see, first of all, for the visiting Bulldogs, Daphne and Celestine are the uh, forwards. Kyrie Stanley is the center. He's just a freshman. Allen, a good shooter from the outside. Kurt Smith likes to penetrate. As far as Iowa State's concerned, uh, Lauren Myers back in that starting lineup again at the center. Mikalik at the forward along with Hoiberg. And, of course, Bayless Thigpen are the guards. The referees for tonight, Jerry Petro, Dwayne Smith, and Bill Summers. And we're coming back. Iowa State and Drake. This crowd's getting revved up. So should you. We'll be back in a moment. It's been said, living in the country, running a farm and working with the land lets you better appreciate the basic things in life and better see what really counts, like the value of good decisions and how you find it's often what you carry with you that determines how far you go. There we were, a jillion miles outside of the hood. The bus got a flat. Got no jack. Homie's gonna cut his grass. What the? Four and a half. Yeah, 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 four and a half. Six hundred and a half. Sold. The man's round sales. But he's got no beef. Pardon me. Four and a half. Two dollars. Two dollars. Four and a half. Two dollars. That was that. Huh? Yo, MC cow selling. But fresh. If you're looking to buy the best-built pickup in America, think twice before you buy. Ford F-Series is the best-built pickup. Think about dependability. Ford F-Series is the most problem-free full-size pickup. Think about the competition. Ford F-Series has been the best-selling truck for 16 years in a row. And right now, you can get the F-150 XLT and save $1,600 with cash back. For the number one pickup in America, see your local Ford dealer and prepare to be impressed. For people with heart problems, life is something never taken for granted. But every year, thousands of patients of the Cardiac Center at Iowa Methodist are able to return to a normal schedule and a healthier lifestyle with the help of our skilled, caring staff. At Iowa Methodist, we treat our patients heart and soul. Second meeting between these clubs. You see the Cyclones with a big margin. And here in Ames, last time Drake won, 1979. Let's take a look at the head coach of the Bulldogs, Rudy Washington, in his third year. And the head coach, of course, of the Cyclones, feeling better. He doesn't look it, but he does <laughs> feel better. That's Johnny Orr his 13th year guiding the Cyclones. He's got his game face on, Dave, yeah. I think. He sure does. Let's take just a moment to recognize the Phillips 66 Big 8 Conference Player of the Week. Hey, Ron Bayless. Way to go, Ron. He's earned this special recognition for his outstanding play this last week from Phillips 66. Sure. First turnover for Iowa State. That's the Bulldogs. Forte is creating turnovers by their opposition. And you see Smith ducking right in there, almost coming up with the steal. This is the interesting matchup right here. Drake operating out of a, a box offense. Uh, one man Smith out front, four men along the lane. Wide open was Celestine, and he gets it home, and Drake has the early lead. And a second turnover by Iowa State. And William Celestine, that's important for him in this ball game. With Adrian Thomas out for the second semester, Celestine has to come up big, rebounding. He also needs to give him a lift for some points. Interesting, Gary. Both these teams create seven more turnovers by their opposition. So we'll see who wins that battle tonight. And get it back to Smith at 5'10". Guy averaging almost 22 points a game. He gives it up for Daphne. A little bit too strong. And that's where Iowa State's got to win that battle of the boards with their superior size. Smith wide open for the three, and it's 5-0 Drake. That might be a danger signal. I classify Kurt Smith as a scorer, not a shooter. He can shoot the three, but percentage-wise, he's not there. Getting off to a good start. So is Lauren Meyer. Welcome back to the starting lineup, Lauren. 
Oh, there's a pickoff. Nice play by Bayless, and then the great dribbling by Meekly. Oh, big block. Meyer had it swatted from behind. No call. Smith pulls up. Well, he just pushes that one up towards the target, and then Stanley guides it home. Dave, when I first saw Drake play, I thought, what kind of a shot is that? But that's characteristic of Kurt Smith. He comes in there and shoots it from the hip and gets it off over those big guys. Mikalik for three, no. Meyer powers it home. Meyer really coming out aggressive. Drake, the smaller club. Iowa State with two 11, 6 11 kids in the lineup. Maybe Washington concerned about that size of the Cyclones. That one went off of Smith. That was touched by Bayless, or was it? No, over and back. Smith saying, hey, wait a minute. Bayless touched it. Didn't get the call. There's moments ago, as you saw the shot come off, there's Meyer grabbing it in. That's one thing he's given to Iowa State in the last three games, 21 rebounds. Good things you have with a guy like Mikalik, a guy with some size that can throw up over this pressure. Thigpen loses the handle. And now Hoiberg will get it back. Hoiberg pulls up. Gloves too strong. There's Meyer again. Tip, tipped again. Mikalik! Well, the big guy's playing ping pong down on the Iowa State end. <laughs> Iowa State with four straight to pull it within one. Allen wide open for three, no good. Hoiberg with a rebound, and then he is fouled. And originally called a tie-up. They might change the call. Let's see, the back official called a foul. Now they've taken it away. The tie-up will go to Drake. Rudy Washington's got to like that change of call by the officials. Here's a quick look at it right from here. Hoiberg comes up. He's got a hand on the ball there and then drags him over. I'm not so sure it's not a good call. The Bulldogs with it with a one-point lead. Drake came to play so far, taking a five-point lead early on. Stanley, a little, little pop step, but he kept the pivot foot free, and now a turnover by Drake, and that's their second of the game. A reminder, later in the game, Gary and I are going to be choosing the Pioneer Seed Corn Player of the Contest. Drake coming with a three-quarter. Looked like two-on-two two press. Got him where you don't want to be. Drake trying to take advantage of their quickness going with the press. And the little guy comes up with a rebound. <laughs> yeah. He does a good job of rebounding. Always averaging about three a game. And Bayless reached in and got him on the arm. For Bayless, his first foul. This is what I was talking about, keeping Smith in front. Of you. You've got to keep him in front so he doesn't penetrate. Right here. Now he goes by, gets a half a man. Now he's a full man. Reaches and grabs right there. Better turn him loose because this is what this kid wants to do. He wants to get it into the middle. He's going to go to the line or he's going to dish it off if you go to cover up. Gary, we're busy because uh, later we're going to uh, choose the DuPont Extra Zine 2 Off the Bench Award winner. we got a lot of choosing to do here. <laughs> That's the player that comes off the bench and makes the biggest contribution to his team. Extra Zine 2. The people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. Brett Shirell checks in. Of course, a lot of people remember his brother, Brent, who didn't qualify academically. They had to go to Marshallton Junior College. Smith misses them both. Lauren Meyer doing an excellent job for Iowa State on the board. He's really playing aggressive. Poked out by Allen. It will stay with Iowa State. Well, advantage for Drake, as Rudy Wash said, they have to take advantage of their quickness. And you've seen twice now guys catch up and uh, flick that ball away from behind with their quickness. Inside, Meyer. Boy, he is mauled. Stanley picks up his first. Warren Meyer going to the line. Meyer's really made an amazing turnaround this season. His first six games, he averaged about three and a half per contest. And then the seven games he started, he averaged almost 11 points a game. So a look at Stanley right there. He's rated one of the top 25 seniors in California last year. Of course, a high school teammate of the coach's son, Rudy Washington. What? Like uh, contact problems. 
Well, you won't have any trouble with contact if you're in the game. You wear glasses, <laughs> you wear glasses now. Did you wear glasses in college, or were you? No. You, you can see that. <laughs> yeah, I can see. <laughs> I can see now, but I can't see in the distance as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Damn! And the turnover by the Bulldogs. Drake coming with that pressure. We're tied at seven. Meyer! Oh, wow! Dave, that is a great job as you look at Lauren Meyer. He beat the trap, got the ball to the middle, then really hustled and filled to the lane. They had the three on two once they beat the pressure. Meyer with seven of Iowa State's nine points. First lead for the Cyclones. I think Ron Bayless has to be content tonight just like that. Don't get up and try and steal this ball. Just keep him in front of you. That's Kirk Smith we're talking about. Shot clock down to 20. Allen, he's really struggled lately. Two and for his last 14 now. Put up a long one by Smith, no good. Here comes Meekly. <laughs> Iowa State's big guys can run the court pretty well. I should say. The big guys have all the points for Iowa State. Mikalik with four, Meyer with seven. <laughs> Allen gets inside. That's that old saying, look in the other hand, you'll find a goal watch. <laughs> Looked like they had a turnover, came right into Allen's hand, he puts it in for two. Something Drake needed right there to stem the tie. Hoiberg wide open for three. Stanley with a good rebound for the Bulldogs. Travel. Looked pretty, but took an extra step. Maybe in the NBA. Not here. Lauren Myers really picking up the pace for the Cyclones, who lead by two. Just when the other banks thought it was safe, Norwest is doing the unbelievable again. No way! This time with unbelievable one-payment free loan. No. For a limited time, borrow money for whatever you want, and Norwest will make one of your loan payments free. Oh, no! It's quick, easy, and could save you up to $400. No. Say yes to Norwest's unbelievable one-payment free loan and get one of your loan payments free. Those other banks just don't have it. During my railroad career, I've been involved in 11 car train crashes, of which only two people survived. I can't begin to tell you the helpless feeling we have when we see a car or a person ahead of us on the tracks, knowing that we cannot stop on a dime or steer out of the way. In most cases, by the time we see it, it's too late. So when approaching a railroad crossing, please slow down, look, listen, and live. Hi, Pat Summerall here at True Value, where the main attraction is personal service. Or is it low prices? Well, let's find out. They do have sales, and you can tell it's a sale price. It's not just a few pennies. It's a real sale. I like their quality and their service. You look for that one star, and you trust it, and that's where you go. For personal service and low prices, bring your family to ours, the True Value family of stores. Everything I needed to, uh, to move into my new house, I, I bought right here. It's the 11th hour, the deadline nears, and the tedious work begins. Good presentation, people. Now, we need 100 sets of this before we go home. Stanley, 100 sets, front and back, three-hole punched, and stapled. The Mita 8585 from Copy Systems, Inc. makes 85 copies a minute. Only a Mita will copy front and back, three-hole punch, collate, and staple automatically. See the high-value Mita copier duplicator at Copy Systems, Inc., the one company that helps run many. Only a Mita could do it. It's a Budweiser quick stat, Gary. So far, the guards not getting it done for the Cyclones. The big guys are, though. Well, they really have. Going on at boards and a couple times going down and taking them for stuff. Change that Budweiser quick stat. <laughs> <laughs> the guards got one. 13-9 matches the biggest lead for the Cyclones at four. A shot over there by Shirell. Plus there for uh, Rudy Washington, Shirell has not been shooting the ball well at all, only about 32% from the field. Started early, started three games this year, and then uh, 
They got out of the lineup, has been coming off the bench. His brother Brent was heavily recruited by Georgetown. Brent wanted to play with his brother Brett, so they both went to Drake, and then Brent made himself ineligible. That's interesting, two on two game. You got two 6'11 guys. And now, Big Ten. So the guards with the last four points for Iowa State. And we'll tell you at halftime, we'll be naming the Norwest Banks Academic All-Star. I didn't know we named so many things. Man, we're, we're naming stuff all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> 13 44 to go, first half. Iowa State up by four. Justice Stigbitt's going to try and get all over Jeff Allen. He's a standstill shooter, he's been struggling. And part of that problem is without Adrian Thomas. People were ducking back or going in the middle to help. He'd kick out. Oh, that's what he can do if he penetrates on them. Well, he can. And Marvin King, the beneficiary. Fouls Meyer went strong with a hoop. King, the one that took the abuse. Meyer here, the defensive man coming late. Not getting there established, only having about a quarter of a man. Here's another look. You see King coming through there. Meyer just roared, and he has really taken that ball to the basket tonight. He's playing like a guy that wants to keep his job, Dave. <laughs> Timeout taken by Thigpen. He was trapped in the corner with nowhere to go. So the Cyclones spend the timeout with 13-16 to go. It's Iowa State just by two. My brother, about to become a father. So how big can a crib be? Season tickets went on sale today, Mike. Yeah. Well, maybe next year. You got five years straight. Yeah. Is this about the kid? This kid's getting for free, you know. It's gonna be a little tight. Mike, this year's on me. Only one beer has the taste as genuine as the people who drink it. Budweiser. Now the new little guy's going to every game, right? Bobby, he could be a girl. A girl? With a gentle hand and an eye on the future, they're changing how they work. They're taking their corn no-till, and while that means less erosion and more soil moisture, it also brings on real needs for burndown of emerged weeds, for residual control while the corn grows. They are finding the solution. Extrazine 2. The people who go no-till go Extrazine 2. It was one of the easiest decisions I've ever made. This year, your Ford dealers introduced a new way to buy a car. The response has been fantastic. One low price, no gimmicks. It takes the guesswork out of buying a car. The one price Ford Escort. Four different models, all well equipped, all for just $10,499. It's a new way of doing business from your Ford dealers. I got a great car at a price the imports couldn't beat. Four Escorts, one low price, just $10,499. My Ford dealer made car buying easy. Two tickets to the Big A Conference basketball tournament in Kansas City could be yours if you enter the Budweiser Championship ticket giveaway. Enter at your local Budweiser retailer or send a postcard with your name and address and phone number to that address. All entries due February 25th. Winners will be announced on CTN March 3rd when we're in Colorado. Cyclones leading by two. Bayless oh, whips pass. it in to Hoiberg. I mean, just a wraparound hook pass to Hoiberg. Great look. We said Smith... And Bayless, he really gets picked off by King. But they're third in their respective conference in assists and steals. Bayless is tireless, isn't he? I mean, he'll, he'll really come at you the entire game. Daphne for three, no. Hasn't scored, and that's one of those guys we feel like for Drake has got to put some points on the board. Watch the pass by Bayless. This one will go on the highlight reel for the year. Watch, he sees the opening, comes here, takes the drive. Defensive man comes off, and look at that wraparound pass right there to Hoiberg, wide open. What's well, great when you can feel the double team coming. That foul, by the way, on King. That's his second, the third team foul on Drake this half. Iowa State with three guys that can really handle the ball and bring it up if they need be. That time, Hoiberg. And really four if you count Meekly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes them a tough team to press. Oklahoma found that out last Saturday when Iowa State had just 14 turnovers against the Sooners. Mikalik again, now he's got a half dozen. 
See, they're protecting in the middle on the cutters, and that's what it does right there. They tried to protect, drop back. Meeklik just pops outside and gets the shot. Yeah, a little uh, lowering of the shoulder by King to knock Bayless for a loop. King whistled for his third foul. Now Rudy Washington has a decision to make. Do you leave King out there or do you put him on the bench? And I have a feeling he's going to be getting a seat over there on the Bulldog bench. Now Budweiser quick stat shows that uh, so far Drake turning it over more than, in fact, twice as much as Iowa State. And Cyclones taking advantage with that one extra point off that turnover. Dave, Iowa State still has not turned the ball over more than any opponent they played this year. That's quite a stat. Boy, Meyer really grabbed the rebound. It goes off a King who stays in the lineup with those three fouls. Surprising to me that Marvin King is going to stay around. Now he comes up. I think the word finally got over to Rudy Washington that King's got three fouls. Kyrie Stanley, just a freshman. 6'11", 260. Haven't seen him shoot yet from outside, but he's got good touch, but Meyer goes right up over the top. Meyer with nine. You know, I think Iowa State is showing the respect for Drake that they had because they have really come out and played hard. There's no sitting back. Going away by Hoiberg. Open. Wide open, think pen. What a catch! That will stay with Iowa State. Man, oh man, Thigpen ought to go out for wide receiver for the Cowboys. Either that or a center fielder for the Royals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd buy that. Inside, oh, they Thigpen. Like that play. Hey, that's the one that burned Minnesota a year ago. Iowa State has scored 10 straight to take this 10-point lead. Inside Stanley. Hoiberg is mismatch inside as Meyer came to help out on the double team. Boy, Smith does an excellent job of finding the open guy. Hoiberg almost over and back. Yeah, you got to have all three points. You got to have two feet and the ball over. That's right. Thigpen nails a three. Now he's got seven. Oh, wide open a... layup missed by Slater. And wide open is Mikali. And he is fouled. Sherell picks up his first. Boy, that is a tough break for Drake. That's like a four-point turnaround. Could be. This telecast, a copyrighted presentation of Iowa State University and the Cyclone Television Network. And a use of the pictures or accounts of this telecast without the express prior written permission of Iowa State University and the Cyclone Television Network is expressly forbidden. Drake calls a timeout. The Cyclones are rolling right now with 10.45 to go in the first half. The Cyclones lead it by 11. Expect spring rains today with a chance of thunderstorms and high winds. Can you pick up 10 more bags of 33.94? He had it. I'm on my way. forces you to do the paperwork, a plan that restricts emergency care when traveling, or where you never know how much you're going to pay to visit the doctor. The grass may indeed be greener on the other side of the fence. Come over to HMO Iowa. It's health care you can feel good about. Remember the principal financial Reader's Red Power knows that farming today demands greater performance from your tractor than it did a few years ago. That's why they're proud to offer the Case International Magnum line of tractors. The 505 cubic engine offers plenty of muscle, and the 18-speed full power shift transmission gives you better field performance. Magnum tractors also offer the electronic hitch command, all standard in the Case Magnum line. Reader's Red Power in Grand Junction and Carroll, and Case Magnum. More for your money, more for your farm, more for your future.
Seat coin trivia question. Who holds the record for most disqualifications in a season? It's not Gary. It might be me. I've missed a couple of games this year. One with illness, one because of the weather. And here's another Budweiser quick stat. We showed you before Drake led in the guard scoring 5-zip. Well, Iowa State's picked it up now. They lead 9-5. And those five points by the Drake guards early in this half. Mikali goes to the line for the first time, an 87% free throw shooter. Now it uh, should be noted that Mikalik is from Slovakia. Czechoslovakia, as of January 1st of this year, no longer a country. They split. One is the Czech Republic, the other Slovakia, and that's where Mikalik's family is from. And Mikalik hits both free throws. Well, remember that play right there. That's a big one. A four-point turnaround. Two that Drake, Drake didn't get on Slater's missed layup, and two Mikalik free throws pushes it out to 13. Howard Eaton checks in. He got the start against Oklahoma. Now he'll spell Mikalik. The 13-point Iowa State lead. Wide open was Slater, and he uh, made made up for himself for missing that layup. He hits the tougher shot. Yeah. Slater originally signed with the University of Iowa, then ended up going to Alvin Community College in Texas, and then back to Drake. Rudy Washington, I think, helped recruit him at Iowa. Big Ben keeps it alive for Bayless. They're Good working around. Ball. Look at that. And good patience, too. Yep. They had the extra pass. Eaton just elected not to take the shot. Tried to draw him up to him with the fake and then look for the drive. Defender did a good job of staying down and was able to recover. Big Penn is hot now. He's got nine. Well, Big Penn has scored 20 points or more in eight of the last 10 games. Had 13 against Oklahoma when he was just five for 15 from the field. But he's averaging 16 a game. Mm good for fourth in the Big Eight. Well, the two guards for Iowa State, uh, I know that the guys from Kansas, Jordan and Walters, get a lot of recognition, and they should, but Bayless and Thigpen are right there with them. They certainly are. I think they're third in guard duel scoring over the country. Uh, Curley and Hill from Duke are number one. Meyer maybe took one extra dribble. He got the foul. Meyer was one dribble away from getting a wide open Bayless. Yeah, he should have gotten rid of this ball early. Let's watch here. Here's a double team. They get up on him. And Meyer stepping in, who's doing a good job lately of getting passing zones. One dribble there with his head down. I think because of his head being down and a big guy, he doesn't see the open man up court. Watch Thigpen get his guy out of position. A little physical play, and then he pulls up. Jumper. While we were watching that, Hoiberg slammed one home. Cyclone fans remember a slam by him against Oklahoma. That Mm. Turn things around. I should say. 32-17 Iowa State. It might be more. Here comes Thickpen again to Hoiberg. Wow! Great pass by Thickpen. That's what you always say when the two Iowa State guards are playing within the structure. They're terrific. Good Drake led by five once upon a time. Smith. Hoiberg got in the way of that pass, and it's a travel anyway. Look at the frustration on Kurt Smith. Bulldogs are being frustrated by the Cyclones right now. Let's watch him. Right there, Thigpen does a nice job. He's got a man on him. He can probably take it up there. Probably gets fouled. You got to go with the line hit, too. Gives it to the open man for the easy two. And a rare turnover for Iowa State in this game. Cyclones on a 17-4 run. What well, was that? Well short. And here comes Hoiberg. Almost his third in a row. He's fouled by Dan Nucky, who hasn't played in a long time for Drake. And Nucky commits the foul on Hoiberg, who's mad at himself for not hitting the layup. Nucky, the freshman, came in. He was the one that threw up that air ball. A knuckleball. Yeah, for, for <laughs> knuckle for knuckle. <laughs> He's a freshman and all stater out of uh, Rock Island, Illinois. Hoiberg has really come on free throwing up to 80% now. The start of the mm -hmm. year, remember he missed several and was down there, but he's come on. His shooting overall has come on. Yep. He's been more aggressive. He's looking for his shot, taking the ball to the basket. Yeah, big game against Oklahoma. 18 points and 10 rebounds against the Sooners. Johnny's got to be feeling good right now. His club up 36-17, and another turnover for the Bulldogs. 
And that's 10 here in the first half for Drake. An inauspicious start for Dan Nucky off the bench. Throws up an air ball, commits a foul, now a turnover. That's pretty much the trifecta of mistakes. Yeah. Well, this is one thing that Drake couldn't do coming in here to Hilton, is that turn the ball over. That's a two from Thigpen. He was close to the line, but not over it. 11 points for Thigpen, and look at that lead, 38-17. Iowa State's pressure has been causing him some problems. Daphne with a fake, and a foul on Hoiberg. For Fred, his first. Only the second team foul for Iowa State this half. So the Bulldogs will check it in underneath their own hoop. Stanley works it around to Daphne. And a foul on Bayless, and now Ron has two. Let's check some scores from around the country on the True Value Hardware scoreboard. That's very early, TCU in Tulsa. And you see that Georgetown putting it to 10th rank Seton Hall in the second half. Georgetown's a funny team to predict this year. They've been up and down. They're drilled by UNLV last week. Checking in is Clayton Allen for the Bulldogs. Right now, Rudy Washington searching for the right combination out there. Ron Bayless just done a great job on Smith. He's only been able to penetrate a couple times. Three-pointer by Daphne. And it's 38-20. Good job. Pass from Hoiberg. Good steal. Allen tipped it around. Daphne got it. Another three. That's short. Hoiberg rips it down. Here comes Bayless over the shoulder. Mikalik trying to tip it, keep it alive. Does to Ron. Well, Bayless was, gets it around to Thigpen. Excuse me, Dave. Iowa State just beating Drake to the ball off the backboards and loose ball. And a foul on Smith. Kurt Smith frustrated. He's got only three points. That one three-pointer you said, look out, he might be hot. That was early, and that gave Drake a five-point lead. Now, since then, he's gone scoreless and picked up two fouls. Well, he hasn't had anybody like Ron Bayless covering him up to this point. I'm no. sure of that, because there isn't anybody any better than Bayless. I would say, wouldn't you, I, I want to see if you agree with me on this. To this point in the season, Bayless, the MVP of this team? I think yes, I would take it. He does so much for this ball club. Let's recheck those keys to victory, Gary. Brought to you by DuPont Extra Zine 2. Well, for Drake, they didn't stay in the ball game early. They were down 15 at the 10.45 mark. Allen and Daphne just scored. Allen only has two, I think, so they haven't been getting the support out there. Keith Smith outside just commented about how they've done a good job of keeping him out of driving only a couple times. Iowa State definitely forcing the action. They've Drake has got 10 turnovers, so I think right on target right now. Mm-hmm. Dupont Extra Zine 2. The people go no till go Extra Zine 2. 20-point lead for the Cyclones. Allen driving in. And a foul on Wheat, Morgan Wheat, who's changed numbers, by the way. If you remember him wearing double zero, he's now wearing 40 in honor of Chris Street, who is tragically killed from the Iowa Hawkeyes. So Wheat will wear 40 this year. Fred Hoiberg will wear 40 next year. The Cyclones have decided that one member of their team will wear number 40 from here on out in honor of Chris Street. And my understanding that Fred Hoiberg is the young man that will wear it next year, right, right. over the next two years. Boy, that was ugly. Yeah, everything going wrong for Drake right now. Boy, and they've got a man open down court. Finally saw him. Now he's not open. It's Mikali. Drake is not getting back. There's some people with a glass. They're not having a guy back on defense. Eaton, nice pass from Thigpen. 22-point lead for the Cyclones. Once upon a time, it was 7-2 Drake. So the Cyclones on a 40 to 13 run. Can't since give him that much room. Allen, though, as we've mentioned, has been struggling from out there. You see, every time down, Iowa State's got a man out in front. Great not recovering and assigning a man, or else the sign guy is not getting back. But they're in trouble. 
This is Drake's worst nightmare. Down 24. Still six minutes to go in the first half. And Smith being double teamed yeah. now. Iowa State doing a good job of taking care of him. He gets by one. They got the double up ready. And Morgan Wheat did a good job defensively. Lost the handle out of bounds, but great hustle by Wheat. Morgan Wheat transfer in from Vanderbilt. Look at him, come behind, stays there, gets a hand, and just can't get around the body as it goes down, or he might have had the steal. Did a good job with his feet, keeping his yeah. feet in front of that offensive player. Hoiberg gets a missed shot from Celestine. Always around the ball, Mr. Hoiberg. That time he played soccer with it. Went off uh, his foot and out of bounds. You're right, though. He, he has a knack yeah. for... There are players like that, right? It's, you know, it's good anticipation. Uh, he knows right when he sees that ball goes up. He knows the spot that he's going to go to, and he's already there. He's not thinking later. Mm -hmm. What amazes me, though, is when the rebounds come down, he always seems to be on the right side of the basket. When I yeah. play, I'm always on the wrong side. That's yeah. that anticipation. Yeah. I'm yeah. you about. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> it's that Rodman thing, right? Smith, again, can't find the range. Poked around, guess who's in the midst of that? Hoiberg. Celestine, though, gets it to go home. Iowa State has doubled the score of Drake. Tipped up and home by Morgan Wheat. Iowa State's been tough on Drake. When they miss a shot, they're on that offensive glass. Got more size and taking advantage of it. They're the Windex guys tonight, wiping that glass clean. This is a small lineup in there for Drake. I've talked to some of their people. I talked with Coach Pat Rafferty. He said, sometimes we feel like we play better with our smaller lineup. Smith got open for another three. His six points have all come from outside that line. Wide open again, we. Blocked by Allen, but Jeff picks up his first foul. Wheat will go to the line. Well, Iowa State's been moving the ball well, making the extra pass. Watch it comes in here. Up Howard Eaton, he finds work and Wheat underneath, comes up, tries to deliver, but can't get it down as he catches the foul by Jeff Allen. Warren Meyer checks back in for Iowa State. Meyer's out there along with Wheat and Hoiberg and Thigpen and Howard Eaton. It's a club that's down by 21 right now, Drake, but you got to remember they were down by 15 in the second half against Creighton and came back. So you can't let up, and particularly on a guy like Smith. You relax, he's going to hurt you. Washington, who was an assistant for a long time at Iowa, also spent some time at USC and Clemson. And Wheat, a 54% free throw shooter, hits them both. That'll improve his average drastically. Allen wide open for three again. That time he got it to go. But you can see him thinking about it as he let it go. We said he was two for his last 12 shots coming in and one of eight from the three-point line. And he shoots 48% from the three-point line. So you know he can shoot. Thick Ben now with 15 in the game. Three-pointer no good. And look at that rebound by Justice. Here comes Wheat on the fly. Whoops. <laughs> he lost his wings. Reminds me of the Oklahoma game day. You weren't here, but he got a little anxious at, right at the end of the game for the last shot. <laughs> he lost it. 3.39 to go first half. Iowa State 50, Drake 28. and I'm the mayor. Yo, fellas, how about a game of hoops? Hey, what? With you? No, with your mama. Mom? This guy was good, but he was all dribble. Say what? Come on. Man, he deserved one of these. Franchise for the cool bud. Solid. As a United States Senator, I am reminded every day of the importance of the word union. Not only is it a significant word in our Constitution, but union stands for craftsmanship and pride. As a young construction worker earning my college tuition, I learned firsthand that building union means quality of workmanship and quality of life. So today, as we build America, 
Let's remember that when quality is important, it's good business to build union. We're the plumbers and steam fitters of Local 33. Hey, Hannon! Lunch! Hey, you're right. No! I mean, see what everybody wants. Who sees more than a quarter pounder with cheese? Lunch fries? I'm sitting back. Make it two! Got it, kid. With McDonald's Extra Value Meals, Eight, you one, can order your six, favorite number food by number. Four, number. Served up fast, guaranteed. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Hannon! Nice job. It's yours from now on. NCAA Wrestling is coming to Hilton Coliseum March 18th through the 20th. The best grapplers in the nation are going to be right here. You don't want to miss it. Tickets are still available by calling 515-294-1816. Get your tickets now before they go away. Three-point attempt by Daphne is no good. Out of bounds. It will go to Iowa State. Cyclones leading 50-28 with Gary Thompson. I'm Dave Armstrong, and Cyclones, after... A 7-2 deficit have gone on a tear. Look at that Budweiser quick stat as Iowa State just shooting lights out right now. You know, Lauren Meyer started it for Iowa State. Mm -hmm. Nine quick points and thick pins kind of been finishing it off. He's got 50 and everybody's playing a part. Howard Eaton slides inside and he's fouled. And you look at Howard Eaton who made that game tying shot to send the Oklahoma game into overtime. Watch him here. Gets on the inside. Leans back in there so he gets an angle to put it up off the glass. Nice move by Howard Eaton. Allen picks up his second. And Eaton hits the free throw off the bench now. Eaton has seven points. Lost his starting job after 40 straight shots for Whoop. Iowa State. He lets it go. <laughs> That's going to be Drake. Yeah. <laughs> Big Ben got a piece of it. Wait a minute. That's I was going to go back to Howard Eaton. <laughs> I want to see that again. <laughs> I don't know how they got it back. All right. <laughs> Howard Eaton really doing a good job coming off the bench. Yeah, at this point, let him, <laughs> let him have it, huh? 53-28. <laughs> In and out, no good for Smith. Long rebound is blocked by Meyer. Beecham looking for the touchdown. Meyer! Got a walk. Lauren, you can't get the wow if you walk. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was there. Again, Iowa State out in front. Big block by Lauren Meyer. And then what's impressive is the guy 6'11 finishes it right here, just takes a little too many steps. And then Allen. Hits the three-pointer, his second straight. He's got eight now, trying to heat up a little bit. Big Pen has been hot. Justice again. Justice with 17. Iowa State looking to come on their 22 at 2-2-1. That shot has been open. They haven't been able to hit it. Boy, every time, Iowa State's looking for that touchdown. Meyer trying to swing one around to Eaton, and... Allen lost the hand a lot of bounds. No, Drake just a little out of sync, just like that there. They can't quite catch the ball. Down on the other end, they get an offensive rebound. They're a little too quick on their jump, comes off the end of their hands, and they lose it. What Got happened all of down. a sudden, Gary? I mean, at the start of this game, Drake was right in it, leading 7-2 and looking pretty impressive. And then all of a sudden, Iowa State just went crazy. Well, Iowa State committed a couple turnovers right off the start. And everybody's hot for the Cyclones. Everybody. Oh, I'll tell you what's happening. Iowa State is really playing great defense. They're after them. They're motivated. They're into this game. As we always say, defense will take care of your offense. Wide open three put up. No good by Washington. Out of bounds. It will stay with Drake. And if you look again that time, there was five guys from Drake almost within that free throw line mm -hmm. on in. Mm -hmm. That's why you're seeing Iowa State release people and having the people on the the other end open and that's what broke this game open really had a lot of easy easy baskets Allen pulls the trigger underneath his own hoop <laughs> Celestine who almost stolen by Beecham Allen open again his third straight three well one thing that good might come out of this for the Bulldogs is Allen might get out of a shooting slump 
He's now got 11 points. We said he could shoot it. You can't get him, give him room, and that's why you cannot let up on him. You got to pay attention to him. Allen coming to this game, as you mentioned, Gary, two of 12 from three-point land. Whoop. Eaton will pick it up. Cyclones, plenty of time on the clock, down to 22 seconds. One minute left in the first half. Now the shot clock at 12. Went out of their offense. Freelance didn't get it. Now they're going to be forced to freelance it. Good cut. Nice freelance. Big Pen with 19 first half points. And I don't think he scored until about six, seven no. minutes was gone in this game. Drake's defense has really gone south here in the last uh, about 14 minutes of this half. One thing, too, Bayless has been able to rest on the bench with two fouls, hasn't hurt Iowa State. And you see the Budweiser quick stat. Boy, Drake's already put up 19 three-pointers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they average making uh, almost seven yeah. on the season, three-point goal. Boy, it gets inside there, but the big guys are there. And you throw it up into the towers. Morgan Wheat gives it up to Beecham. Shot clock's turned off. You yep. see the time remaining in the first half. Iowa State most likely will go for the last shot. Go to the spread right there. Thigpen says, I'll handle it. Meyer says, I'll handle that. Got it blocked. Wait a minute. Whistle and a foul. Let's see who that's on. I think he might have Slater whistled for the foul. He does. Well, the size of Iowa State really hurting Drake. You'll see it here. Meyer goes up once, fakes, comes back up, gets hit there. They don't call it, and now they grab, and there's no way he's going to get that ball to the bucket. Lauren Meyer already in double figures. He's got 10. Three seconds to go in the first half, a half that has belonged to the Cyclones. Well, last year, Iowa State beat Drake 92-61. We've almost got him by 30 in this first half. At the buzzer, Smith throws up an air ball. Good half for Johnny Orr and his Cyclones. Boy, great half. 61-34, Iowa State. Tonight's Cyclone basketball game is brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers. To remind you that friends know when to say when. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By True Value Hardware Stores. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value. By Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. And by DuPont Extra Zine 2. The people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. Expect spring rains today with a chance of thunderstorms and high winds. Can you pick up 10 more bags of 3417? He had it. I'm on my way. If you want to see more features, turn to a movie channel. See the ES300 at Betz Lexus in Des Moines. You'll like the price of admission. Pizza Hut for lunch. Pizza Hut for lunch. 
Introducing Pizza Hut's $3.99 Lunch Buffet. With your choice of six freshly baked, piping hot Pizza Hut pizzas, toss in a salad, then pile on the pasta and breadsticks. All for just $3.99. So if you want the whole hut and nothing but, you know what to do. Pizza Hut Buffet! The students in Professor John Corbett's research group at Iowa State University are helping push out the frontiers of science. They have a chance to share in the discovery of an entirely new class of chemical compounds. Nearly a thousand have been synthesized here for the first time. And they're studying under a professor who happens to be a member of the National Academy of Sciences, an honor bestowed on only the most distinguished scientists from around the world. At Iowa State University, the standard is excellence. Welcome back to Ames. Iowa State up 61-34 over the Drake Bulldogs at the half. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. I attract blowouts, so this is no <laughs> surprise to me. But every game I've done this year has been this kind of deal. Iowa State just truly dominant in that first half. Just except for the opening uh, two possessions, Drake, Iowa State committed a couple turnovers and scored from then on. It's been all Iowa State. They've just been dynamite. They, they're bigger. They've been on the boards. They've shot well. And Drake cannot get any easy shots. They've dominated, and uh, Kurt Smith, there he's got a couple of three-point shots that's been forced to take really hasn't been able to penetrate very much which is the strength of this ball club well you mentioned Drake can come back on you so how does Johnny get Iowa State to avoid boredom in the second half well I think uh, with this club Drake you've got to say go talk to these kids in there and say don't let up because this and point out uh, a team like uh, Creighton had had him 15 down in the, in the second half and they came back they've got some outside shooting they've got some people that can do it they're young but uh, you've got to stay with them. All right, Gary, it all adds up to a big lead for Iowa State here at the half. And it's time now to honor our academic all-star by Norwest Banks. Ac academic progress and athletic success make for an all-star college performance. And tonight we honor Beth Bredis, a junior majoring in architecture from Bellflower, California, a talent performer on the Cyclone swimming team. Beth also excels in her academic effort. Congratulations to Beth Bredis. Tonight's Norwest Banks academic all-star Norwest Banks home of unbelievable free checking it's only natural that children look to their parents for answers so to help you explain why some things that may be fine for adults aren't right for children Anheuser-Busch offers family talk, free advice from professionals to use with your kids while they're still learning to be grown up. And their favorite teacher is you. Let's stop underage drinking before it starts. Hey, Willard Scott here, talking with the good folks who shop at True Value. The question, is it the personal service or the low prices? Large selection, low prices, good quality merchandise that they do carry. You go in the big chain stores and uh, you try to find somebody to answer a question for you. The value is good. The selection is great. For personal service and low prices, bring your family to ours, the True Value family of stores. Yes, it's definitely a personal touch here. Constant change. For over 25 years, Des Moines Area Community College has been serving the constantly changing needs of your community. Progress. Progress. We've grown with you and your continuing desire for lifelong learning. Diversity. Diversity. And we're here to serve everyone with every kind of need, including you. Des Moines Area Community College, a part of your future. Welcome back to Ames, Iowa. The Cyclones leading the Drake Bulldogs 61-34 at the half. Deb Kuhn is our guest now. She is the head softball coach here at Iowa State. And Deb, uh, snow on the ground. Are you guys able to practice? We're practicing right now in the indoor recreation facility um, and getting a lot done in there. It's a nice facility. What are some of the things you're working on? 
we start off with a pretty intense conditioning and lifting program throughout the preseason and right now we're getting into basic fundamentals getting them in shape getting their arms in shape now when does your season actually start our first game is march 19th at home believe it or not um, <laughs> we play before that on spring break down in florida okay so when you go to florida you're obviously going against teams that have been able to practice outdoors what kind of a trouble does that present to your team well, we do face some of those teams as well. We face some teams that are down there for the same reasons we are, but certainly they're at an advantage. Uh, we can get a lot done in the recreation facility, but it's our first trip to get out and actually take a ground ball on the dirt. So, so you're really looking at that almost as much as a, an extended practice as much as anything. Absolutely. We will have a couple practice days down there, but it's nice for us just to get out and see some players in different positions early in the year and make some decisions about our starting lineup. Who are some of your key players that we can look for this spring? Well, we have great uh, leadership coming back. We have six seniors on our squad. We're really looking for all six of them to play key roles in leading this team in the right direction this spring. What about the Big 8 race this year? How does that shape up? Well, it's always a hard one. Uh, we have a very competitive conference in softball. Typically, out of six teams, we have two to four in the top 20. Right now, going into the season, Kansas and Oklahoma State would have to be the favorite teams. Well, you mentioned your first game in March here in Ames. Are you going to get the snow cleared off the field by then? Well, we are using yellow balls this year, so if we have the snow out there, maybe we can go ahead and play. But, um, yeah, it's a very iffy game. Uh, if we have great weather, it'll be great for us to be out at home that early. So. You mentioned you're playing with yellow balls this year. What's the reasoning behind that? They made a ruling trying to add more offense into the game. It's been such a pitcher-dominated game right. that they've gone to a ball that hopefully is more visible for the hitters, and it's got a harder center, so it comes quicker off the bat. You mentioned it's such a pitcher-dominated sport. Do you have good pitching? Well, I really prefer you hadn't asked that. We just lost one of two pitchers oh, this no. week to an injury that we're waiting tomorrow really to see what the prognosis on that is. She might be out 8 to 14 weeks, but... Uh, we have good pitching, two seniors coming back that I think will show very strong leadership. Deb, good luck to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Deb Kuhn has been our guest, the softball coach here at Iowa State. And the Cyclone basketball team is killing Drake right now, 61-34. It's been said, living in the country, running a farm and working with the land lets you better appreciate the basic things in life and better see what really counts, like the value of good decisions and how you find it's often what you carry with you that determines how far you go. The other banks doubted us. But 30,000 people said yes to NorWest's unbelievable free checking. No. <laughs> and now, there's something new. No. For a limited time, borrow money for whatever you want, and NorWest will make one of your loan payments free. No way. Get unbelievable mm. checking. Then get an unbelievable loan with one of your loan payments free. No. The NorWest unbelievable one payment free loan. Does your bank have it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dear Lexus, my LS400 is great, but I have a suggestion to How make. How about a passenger side airbag? Dear Lexus, I wouldn't have bothered you with this except that you asked. An outside temperature gauge would be especially helpful. It took 1,400 engineers to create it. And just a few doctors, artists, lawyers, CEOs, and entrepreneurs to help refine it. Introducing the 1993 LS400. See over 50 refinements at Betts Lexus in Des Moines today. TCI of Central Iowa has a great way for you to start the new year. For just $9.95 during January, you can get basic cable vision installed in your home. Or for just $0.99, cents, current TCI subscribers can add a premium channel like HBO or Cinemax. $0.99 cents or $9.95. Either way, it adds up to big savings on great cable entertainment. And what a great way to start the new year. Today, in Iowa, there's a college where the average classroom has only 29 students, where teachers of worldwide renown know you by name. A college with an academic reputation so good, so respected, a thousand companies come each year to claim its graduates. It's a college offering almost limitless cultural experience and opportunity where you can lead, play, and learn. A place that's large enough for all your dreams and small enough for you. 
tonight's game is brought to you by Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. Let's check our halftime stats with Iowa State leading in 61-34. Brought to you by Bud Light. Iowa State shooting lights out right now. Look at that, 67%. They, they just dominated everything from field goal shooting to free throw shooting. Uh, you see the three-point breaks been forced to live on the outside. Look at the rebounding. Iowa State, mm. 21 to 10. Mm. And then, of course, uh, turnovers. Drake, uh, surprisingly, only 12. Uh, you'd have thought with a 27-point lead, they might have turned it over more. Yeah, scores from around the country, Gary, on the True Value scoreboard. Well, let's see, Minnesota Ooh. beating Indiana. Whoa, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a big surprise at the half. Oklahoma clobbering Florida A&M. That one in the first half, that one in Norman. And you see Colgate beating Tom Miller's team. Army having a rough time this year. Georgetown defeats Seton Hall in Big East play. So here, Iowa State is defeating Drake and how? 61-34 at the half. You know, a lot of things that are pretty good by themselves are even better when you put them with something else. Kind of like Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Iowa and Farm Bureau. Now, on the one hand, you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield and their great health care insurance plans. And on the other, you've got Farm Bureau and their great local agents. Now, you put them together and you've got one heck of a sandwich. Get the best of both. Call your local Farm Bureau agent about Blue Cross and Blue Shield insurance today. Think smart. Think safe. Think Mercury Sable. Last year, no other manufacturer in Sable's class even offered the safety of optional dual airbags. Not Toyota Camry, not Nissan Maxima, not even Honda Accord. Now, for 1993, we've upped the ante. This year, we've made the safety of dual airbags standard on every 93 Mercury Sable. So think smart. Think safe. Think Mercury Sable. At your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Hardee's Frisco Burger, with the great taste of sourdough bread, brings a bit of San Francisco to you. And now it could bring you to San Francisco. Just play Hardee's Frisco Gold Rush game. Your chance to win a trip to visit me in San Francisco. You can also win real gold, instant cash, or delicious food awards. And you get to play every time you enjoy a Hardee's Frisco Burger or Frisco Breakfast Sandwich. You know, you just can't lose. Are you ready for some real fun? Tonight's Cyclone basketball game is brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers with that clean, crisp, cold taste. Nothing beats a bud. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By True Value Hardware Stores. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value. By Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. And by DuPont Extra Zine 2. The people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. And let's take a check on who's starting for each team in the second half. Brought to you by Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. The only change really for Drake, you see Kyrie Stanley in the lineup, but he's actually not going to play in this, uh, at least start in the second half. Ray Slater will instead. Iowa State, they'll go with the same lineup they've been going with, and why not? These guys have been hot, and Thigpen leads the way with 19 first-half points. Boy, along with those 19, though, he dished out four assists. Hmm. This will make Johnny feel better in a hurry. Johnny Orr, who missed four of five games. Johnny and I were both kind of under the weather there. Man, I tell you, that virus that passed through, it took me about a month to get over it. And it's taken Johnny about the same time. He's still not back to 100%, but good enough to be on the sidelines. Good to see him again. I expect a, more pressure by Drake to try to get back in this. Yeah, they've just got to keep playing. They've got to play what and do what they do best, and that's uh, apply some pressure. The main thing i got to do is uh, when they shoot and fires, get back on defense, take away the easy basket. Good move by Smith. Good hustle by Hoiberg. Sure was. 
walked with it. It will go back to Drake, but you're right. Good hustle by Hoy Bird. You don't have to worry about him ever hustling. <laughs> you're right. He does come to play, as they say. Bulldog swing it around to Smith, who was held to just six first half points. Now from way outside, as you mentioned, Gary, you he's keep not, him out there, he doesn't shoot it as well. He's not a great shooter. He's, uh, as I classified him, he's a scorer. You let him into the paint and penetrate, that's when he's going to be tough because he's going to get to the free throw line. He's going to get some of those layup shots. Bayless, who had just two first half points, spent a lot of time on the bench in foul trouble. Not trouble, but he had two, and with the big lead, Iowa State able to rest him. Slater with a hand on the ball for the block. Allen loses the handle there. Bayless knocked it away. Here comes Meekley. Let's it bounce. Picks it up behind the back. Whoop. Somebody grab it. Finally, Smith does. Ball slippery to start the second half. Three-pointer up and in by Daphne. Daphne can shoot the three-pointer. Mm -hmm. Six in the Missouri Valley Conference at 45%. So. Sluggish start so far for Iowa State. Bayless is fouled as he goes to the basket by Celestine, who picks up his first. Let's see what he does here. This is interesting, whether he gets two or out of bounds. I think he's going to be out of bounds. <laughs> Watch Bayless. Here he comes. He's looking. He's going to look to take it up, finds he's covered, and then goes out with the, uh, with the pass. Good call. Bayless for three. Ooh, way off. Rushed it just a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. Didn't have his body squared up. It's one of those where you say, this is my shot and your axe is you want to make sure you take it. Right. <laughs> Another miss from three point range by the Bulldog, Celestine. Whoop, knocked out of bounds to Drake. Cyclones, I mentioned Gary at the half, the, the real cause of concern uh, a fear that you might get a little bored, a little lackadaisical. Yeah. Johnny's worried about that, too, you can Take see. Take a few chances. In a case like that, players that are ahead of a guy with the ball, the guy with the ball knows there's somebody coming, but guys ahead of him should be hollering, too. Watch the guy behind. Let him know. Communicate. And Smith, maybe a little bit too far for his range. Meyer, boy, good. great hands. Yeah. yeah, good little flip pass out. Hoiberg for three! Hoiberg now in double figures with 10. 64-37, Iowa State. Well, they've been wanting to, Hoiberg to shoot more, score some more points. He had 18 at Oklahoma. Prior to that, he had two and six-point games. So you see, they're daring him to shoot it, and he gets that one down. Eaton looking inside. Great post up by Meyer. And a foul on his back is Allen. Allen had no chance. Meyer really using his body well. And the good thing here, Meyer recognizes what he's got. He's, he's clapping his hands one time and hollering to get it inside. There he keeps his body in front of Allen, who picks up the foul. He called for the ball, wanted it, and got it. Eaton. Boy, Howard Eaton making a strong bid for our off the bench award. He's got 11. Drake just not defending very well on the interior at all. I just don't think they have the size to no. do it. But you want to keep people in front of you anyhow, if you're smaller. Eaton gets it out to Bayless now. Think pin, great pass. <laughs> Think pin going airborne. Smith cut him off, and Kurt Smith picks up his third foul. This is the bugaboo for Drake right here. They let people get out from behind. Smith comes from behind there. Too late. Thigpen goes to line for two. But you've got to have somebody back on defense, particularly if you're playing a team against like Iowa State. Mm -hmm. You know that they're going to kick it out and get down the floor fast. Thigpen, three of three from the line. Back to conference play for both these clubs Saturday. Iowa State will be at Oklahoma State. And Rudy Washington's Bulldogs will be at Illinois State. Thigpen with 21 already, his career high 32. Of course, against Kentucky. And that was the night that Bayless scored 30. 30. Not a bad no. tandem for your guards to <laughs> score 62 in a game, huh? Boy, that's an NBA three-pointer. Oh, no kidding. 
threw that one up from the Skunk River. <laughs> Moody Washington knows his team's in trouble right now. Drake, last few times, just trying to spread. Oh, good crossover. Good block. Great block. Palestine. We'll stay with Iowa State, but I don't think Bayless expected Celestine to stay with him there. Oh, the yeah, got to get close. It. Yeah. <laughs> Eaton fouled on his way to the hoop. You know, Iowa State tonight's ball game doing a good job of reacting to situations and what the defense gives them to him right there. Howard Eaton went inside and knocked away. Boom right away. He's going to the basket picking mm -hmm. up the loose ball. Not standing watching. Eaton at the line. It's a great free throw shooting team isn't it. Iowa State they've won some games at the line this year. Well we're run down. Howard Eaton 78 percent. Hoiberg 80 percent. Meek League 87 percent. Bayless 88 percent. Thick pin about 75 percent. So they're not a weak sister there. They haven't missed one tonight. Thick pin four for four. Mika League two for two. Oh, I, yeah, excuse they me. missed one Ho in the first half. Hoiberg missed one. He was one for two. And Smith, yeah, that's, right now he just yeah. got to fire him, isn't he? It looks to me like they've kind of abandoned any type of offense, just spread and has tried to shoot it in from long range. Bounce pass, Meyer. He's fouled. That one by Daphne. I think they realize their short range stuff is being <laughs> shut down. They're going, they're going for the big bombs outside. Fire, fire for effect. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing up a few scud missiles that aren't finding the target. 15-53 left to go in this one. Iowa State on top of Drake, 70-43. And that was dinner for our favorite food critic. Everything was wonderful. Something else to drink, monsieur. Yes, make it a Bud Light, please. I'm sorry, monsieur, we have run out. Really? Well, that does change things a bit, doesn't it? If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Billy's Chili, quaint atmosphere. Is that a tip or did you just lose some change? Charming service. You know how great it feels to save money. Well, Hy-Vee employees help their stores save thousands of dollars every year. From simplifying business procedures to simply reusing shipping materials, employees' cost-saving ideas get them directly involved in the decision-making process that helps Hy-Vee cut expenses. And that helps us keep the prices low for you. Low prices all day, every day at Hy-Vee. Just when the other banks thought it was safe, Norwest is doing the unbelievable again. No way! This time with unbelievable one-payment free loan. No. For a limited time, borrow money no. for whatever you want, <laughs> and Norwest will make one of your loan payments free. Oh, no. It's quick, easy, and could save you up to $400. No. Say yes to Norwest's unbelievable one-payment free loan and get one of your loan payments free. Those other banks just don't have it. Here are five great reasons to buy your new car or truck from Dewey Ford. Number five, salespeople who listen and care. Number four, Des Moines only authorized Ford AAA service department. Number three, 1993 Rangers, starting at only $87.90. Number two, Taurus, America's number one selling automobile. And number one, 1993 Escorts, with rear window defrost, air conditioning, power steering, AM, FM stereo, and more. Just one low price, $89.90. Come into Dewey Ford today. We do it better. East Fourth and Grand. Gary and I are going to go in the voting booth here in a second. We're going to select the Pioneer Seed Corn Player of the Game and the Extra Zine 2 Off the Bench oh. Award winner. That so. pass caught Meyer by surprise. Ron Bayless is just a little flip pass, and I don't think Meyer was expecting that at all. Just zipped right by him. Allen looking inside. Look at that. <laughs> you can't get much farther. They're almost at the half court line. Wide open Bayless. You know, that, that's almost ridiculous as many times. You're right. If I, if I was there, I'd tell somebody, hey, when that ball goes up, you're back. Slater hits a three. They've abandoned any kind of yeah. shots except threes yeah. right now. Can play on the perimeter. 
They might set a record for most three point attempts in a game by anybody. I don't know what the NCAA record is. We ought to get our crack statistician, Ted Tedesco, who hates it when I don't mention his name at least once in the broadcast. <laughs> get him to look that up. Then maybe we'll get Bob Helmers, our producer. To, he knows. Bob, you don't have anything else to do right now, do you? All right, let's check that one out for us. 72 46 our score Iowa State on top Drake with five guys beyond the three point line they'll <laughs> pick down a little bit <laughs> really spreading it out in the middle but so far they have there they get it inside 10 of 30 yeah well that's why they're not going inside Bayless <laughs> Bayless a great job he was looking for the Phil guys to come yep. but Drake did a job that time of getting back on defense just pulls up and knocks the shot down I think he was really wanting to reward Lauren Meyer for running the court, but he just couldn't beat his guy. Daphne hits it, and he's fouled by Hoiberg. Good job by Darren Daphne showing some strength there, taking the foul as he's coming down, able to get the ball up to the basket and in. Is that? I'm, I'm trying to check my scoreboard here. I'll check with Ted. It's only the fourth foul on Iowa State this whole game. Fourth foul, sixth foul? First of the half. They had five in the first half, so I am wrong. I missed a couple somewhere. Well, when you don't have an inside game and you're shooting that ball from long range, uh, they have a chance to pick up many fouls. You start right. spreading like they are now. They've got a little penetration the last couple times. Uh, you get it down in there where you got a chance to pick up fouls. Mikalik will like that. Mikalik. Well, we're getting word now that the record for three-point attempts in a game was 27 by the Nebraska Cornhuskers in 92. There Drake's already again. thrown up 30. There Wide open, shot by Howard! <laughs> You're right, that's getting ridiculous. Oh, I mean... It's like an intramural game. I'd play four-man offense before I'd give up two easy ones every time. Smith penetrates and Bayless fouls him his third. Smith will go to the line. He missed both free throw attempts in the first half. In fact, everybody missed free throws for the Bulldogs in the first half. They only had four attempts and they missed all four of those. Look at Rudy Washington. It has to be disappointed. I, yeah. I think they were coming up here. Maybe not every you always think you can win. I think what the thing that most they wanted out of this game, they wanted to play a competitive game if they couldn't win. And it isn't happening. Another one. Oh, yeah. Unreal. Same song, second verse. Is that what? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the last verse. To call a timeout, save possession. Good double up. Iowa State is dominating the Bulldogs. This one's getting ugly. Cyclones lead it by 28. Expect spring rains today with a chance of thunderstorms and high winds. Can you pick up 10 more bags of 3563? He had it. I'm on my way. Hey, Woodard Scott here at True Value with my friend Pat Summerall. And we're asking shoppers what they like best about True Value. Is it personal service? Or low prices? You can always count on a good buy when you come in True Value. Personal service here. It's quick and easy access. You're not tied up all day just to do a quick shopping. For personal service. And low prices, bring your family to ours. The True Value family of stores. Would you shop here the rest of your life? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, don't buy another gallon of premium gasoline until you've read this. If you've been buying premium gasoline because you think it's the best, or because you think you get more power, or better gas mileage, well, you really should read this. Now, maybe you need premium, but if you don't, this will sure save you some money, and maybe some problems with your car. Learn the facts. Before you buy another gallon of premium gasoline, 
Get your free copy at any Quick Trip. We're going to give you an idea how easy it's been for Iowa State to convert. Out to the side, Thigpen with a long court pass. Great catch this time by Bayless, but there he is out in front of Drake. Turns in midair, puts it down for two. Iowa State still playing hard on their defense. Doubling up. Slater for three. Got it. Three-pointer by Slater for the Bulldogs. It's his second three of the game. Here's a Budweiser quick stat. Iowa State hotter than they were in the first half. That'll take it down a little bit, that miss. We'll get a jump. jump Tie ball. up. We'll go to Drake. It's easy to say jump, you know, and you know, I guess that's an <laughs> yeah. old habit that dies hard. Uh, I say that a lot myself in doing these games. Oh, there's a jump ball, and then you realize, oh, it's not a jump ball, but I think we get the idea. They tie up, you know. I like the old jump ball rule. Yeah. I, I think they ought to, you know. I can go either way know. with that. Yeah, one. I guess you're right. <laughs> Coming up next Wednesday, hey, it's a uh, big eight time. Nebraska, Iowa State, that'll be a good one. Right be a here. good matchup. They've had some battles uh, over the years. Sure have. Daphne with another three-point attempt. Here comes Bayless on the fly again with Hoiberg. And good block. Justice and a great block by Daphne. And Bayless upset with himself. Could have probably given the ball off right there. Oh, they've done that again, right over the top. <laughs> 23 for Thigpen. You know, you run that again, it's set for give a fake up, boom, go to the cut to the bucket, you probably get a layup that way. Yeah, you're right. Daphne, that's no good. Great Celestine. Drake, as you're really missing Adrian Thomas, he's a only 6'6", but he was strong inside. He could jump and he could go on the boards. Iowa State get caught this time. That's the first one, though. Slater now in double figures with 10. Good job by Eaton that time. The game's out of hand, but he gets what he looks like a break, doesn't have it, brings it back out. I was listening to uh, an interview on the radio this last week in Kansas City with Earl Strom, a veteran NBA official, and he was saying in games like this, the officials really have to be smart in helping the players get the game over with. Yeah. And he said, you really have to ignore a lot of touchy fouls that don't have any impact on the game, and let's get this thing over with. And what that does, though, is create a long post-game show for guys like yeah. you and me. 84-57 <laughs> Iowa State. Thigpen getting the job now, covering Smith. You can see a good job by Thigpen. They're staying in front. And here comes Mikalik on the fly. Good, good job by Smith. Throws it off uh, Mikalik and out of bounds. Check out that uh, Cyclone trivia from Pioneer Seed Corn. Holds the record, most disqualifications. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Chuck Duncan. Remember him? I played with him. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> you better remember. In fact, I just saw him uh, at the Iowa State uh, Kansas game. He's an engineer down in Dallas, Texas. Does a great job. The Hackman. Huh? Iowa Stater. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a 6'5 center. <laughs> you know, playing against guys 6'8 and 6'10. Blocked by Mika Lake. Yulia saying, nah, not in our neighborhood. You're not going to get a cheapie. I think he got the ball, but I think he got him with the body going mm -hmm. up over. Mm -hmm. Good look at Julius Mikalik. Been in double figures all but two games this year. In those games, he had eight. And he's only been over the 20-point mark uh, twice. And one of those was the very first game against Indiana State. Well, we've Iowa been... State, incidentally, is going to be 4-0 against Missouri Valley team. Mm -hmm. Played Indiana State, Creighton, UNI, and now Drake. Well, you think uh, another interstate rivalry between the Big Eight and the Missouri Valley. KU walloped Wichita State earlier this year. Scott Thompson down there in his first year is struggling, but I understand he's been doing a good job. And Oklahoma State beat Tulsa earlier this year. Another one of those 
Big Eight Missouri Valley matchups. Iowa State back running their offense. They're so versatile. They can put people in any one of a number of positions in that offense. Mika Lake for three and won't go. Eaton. Boy, up quick. Up quick. He's the off-the-bench winner yeah. right now, wouldn't you say? I'm not going to vote against you. <laughs> unless, unless no, Hester, no, no. <laughs> Hester comes off the bench and scores a new career-high three or something. I mean, Hester's still got a shot at this, but no, right now, he, Daphne with another three-point attempt. That record that we told you about, the 30 by Nebraska, that was uh, three-point attempts by an opponent of Iowa State. The NCAA record for threes in a game was 53 taken by Kentucky. And a travel by Drake. That was an 89. How many of the Bulldogs thrown up so far? Three point attempts. 34. Rudy Washington's Bulldogs have 19 to go. Oh, he's got a man open. Block. Well, Julius Meekley didn't see him. Looked like he could have wrapped around a little hook pass to, to Hoiberg coming in. Well, we've been informed that the uh, ooh, Greg Hester checking <laughs> checking the action out. I asked Hess if he was going to score tonight. He said absolutely. Eaton misses one, and then there's a foul, I think, on Mikali. Slater picks up the rebound. Slater doing a good job that time, getting the body on his man, shielding him off. Through the miracles of satellite television, we understand the coaching staff in Oklahoma State is watching this one in Stillwater as they prepare for the Cyclones on Saturday. That's a crucial game yeah, for Iowa State. I think mean, going on the road, they've had struggled on the road. Uh, Pivotal game for both clubs. Yeah. Uh, Iowa State wants to prove they can win in the Big Eight on the road, and Oklahoma State trying to protect their home yeah. turf. Speaking of uh, Oklahoma State, Super Bowl interesting this year Jimmy Johnson the yeah. former coach of the Cowboys against Thurman Thomas the former running back at Oklahoma State they are really divided in Stillwater <laughs> who to vote for what do you like in that Super Bowl I'm going to Dallas well, I'll, I'll <laughs> go along with you Slater. up and in by Slater Slater's got a dozen he might be the off the bench award winner for the Bulldogs Tipped, tipped, tipped. Hoiberg, good. Hoiberg has 14. Cyclones just owning that offensive glass. They started out the game that way with Meyer and Mikalik and have not let up. Daphne, another three point attempt. That's 35. Thirty five three point attempts. <laughs> I have never seen that many in a game. I can't imagine what fifty three must have been like. I thought Oklahoma might rank up there somewhere close. Big Ben again. Big Ben with twenty five. Thirty point lead for Iowa State. Well, Big Ben with a chance of uh, having the high game of the year for the Cyclones. The highest twenty five by both Big Ben and Bayless. Bayless doing it twice. Good rebound there. Sherell. Sherell with uh, four points in the game. And I think you might be right on that. This one, Gary, figured to be a tougher game than this. Sure did. Sure wasn't. Sherell picks up the foul on Thigpen, and Justice will go to the line. And I said there was a big play that I think helped turn things around for Iowa State. Slater missed a wide open yep. layup, He's banged it up there. He's alone all by himself. The Iowa State got it, went down the other end, and scored. And that ball game, instead of going to nine, went to 13. And from then on, it was Katie bar the door. Hmm. Right now, Rudy Washington looking for the door. Yeah, this is one of these games you said officials help to get it over quick. Uh, everybody, when you're sitting on Drake's side, wants to get it over in a hurry. And then look forward to playing a conference game. I think they go to Illinois State. You blew out some opponents when you were playing at Iowa State. Was it fun when you were on the blowout end when you were 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Things are oh, coming yeah. easy. <laughs> Fat <in> the average. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, you know, it really wasn't. You felt oh, bad. No. Oh, yeah. In fact, you kept looking at the bench, hoping nobody come in for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, because I asked Chris Piper of Kansas that same question a couple of weeks ago, and he said, oh, yeah, it's really oh, boring for the boring. starters. You want to get out of the game. And <laughs> not Gary, boy. Not, not me. <laughs> And a timeout taken with 7.48 to go in the ball game. And Iowa State leading this one by 31. These are treasured natural resources, the envy of the world. And today they have a new lease on life. They're no-till corn acres. The people who work them are seeing less erosion, more soil moisture, and some serious needs for burndown of emerged weeds, for residual control while the corn grows. They're finding what they need. Extrazine 2. The people who go no-till go Extrazine 2. It's been totally redesigned. Its skin, sleeker, smoother. Its interior, roomier, more comfortable. It's heart, meaner, faster. The ultimate truck is here. See it at your local Ford dealer today. Hey, Hannon, lunch. Hey, all right. No. I mean, see what everybody wants. Two cheese burgers and a quarter pounder with cheese. Large fries. Big back. Big it too. Got it, kid. With McDonald's Extra Value Meals, you one, can order your favorite food two, by number. Four, number. Served up fast, guaranteed. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Hannon! Nice job. It's yours from now on. Couple of tickets to the Big 8 basketball tournament in Kansas City could be yours if you enter the Budweiser Championship Ticket Giveaway. Enter at your local Budweiser retailer. Send a postcard to this address. All entries due February 25th. Winners announced on CTN, March 3rd. Good save by Howard Eaton. Meyer showing the outside range. Nope. Morgan Wheat. Hey. Oh, and Morgan did it all himself, didn't he? He kept sure it did. alive with the first tip, then went back up and got it. 95-62. Drake looks like they're trying to run some offense again rather than just that spread on the three-point line. Allen Short. Thigpen with a burst of speed, wide open. Justice Thigpen. 28, he's four away from tying his career high. Iowa State, or I mean rather Drake looks to go inside to Stanley. Big guy posting up. And Daphne hits the three. You're going to see in the box score the, a lot of points by some Drake people and uh, some three-point shots, but Iowa State has really backed off and uh, just given them the outside shots. Big Ben pretty much doing whatever he wants to do right now. So is Meyer. There's Justice oh. again. <laughs> Big Ben right now is kind of toying with the Bulldogs. Drake just has not underneath the basket come out strong. As we said, they're an undersized team, but... When they get a hold of that ball, they haven't been coming out strong. That one will stay with Drake. Donnell Bivens, Hurl Beecham will check in for Iowa State. Johnny goes to his bench. Hoiberg and Howard Eaton. And Donnell getting a big cheer here. He hit a couple of big free throws against Oklahoma tail end of that game with the Sooners. Yeah, that took a lot of courage. Uh, Davey had not been in the ball game, hasn't played much as of late, and, and it's still a game. Only four points up with about 26 seconds. Knocks them both down, That's didn't even nice hit Slater either. Slater 
Adds two more to his total. Bivens gets it back to Thigpen. Now to Meyer. Look at the passing. Morgan oh, Lee just <laughs> flying into the basket, and he was hammered on his way there. Spacing is really good tonight for the Cyclones. Let's check some scores from around the country in that True Value Hardware scoreboard. Oklahoma. Woo -hoo. They're having a go at Florida A&M, aren't they, in Norman? Georgetown, as we showed you before, upset Seton Hall. Florida State surprising North Carolina in the first half. 21-7. Mm. Florida State's talented. Wake Forest, an upset over Virginia. Oh, boy. And Cincinnati is ahead of Xavier. That's a big matchup in Ohio. Yep, Rudy Washington. That's pretty much tells the story. Iowa State. Oh, they got numbers here. Three on one. Good job. Oop. Morgan Waite with a foul on Clayton Allen. Great, doing a good job of getting out that time, running. Great little guy to have in the middle of that break, Kurt Smith. <laughs> Allen hits the free throw. Hasn't been to the line very much this year. That's one of three. Tonight, he was 9 of 18 coming in. It was this guy, Allen, that saved the uh, Creighton game at home for him. Mm -hmm. Tipped in a miss and tied the ball game, sent it in overtime, and then the Bulldogs went on a one. Big fan. Great night, Justice. Great night. He's done 30 points for Big Fan. 30 is season high. Beecham for three, no. Bivens with a good rebound. And Beecham can always find that three-point line. <laughs> Somehow I have a feeling if they had that three-point line when you were playing, you would have found it too. <laughs> yeah, I liked it out there. Oh, I bet you did. Good shooter. Good shooters usually do like it out there. Warren kind of had up his mind that time. I think he was going to do something with it. He did. Meyer was 16. Was that tip? Oh. They say by Beecham, who gets a hand from the band and from Meyer. Meyer, not a bad uh, steeplechase runner there. <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> <right>. Over the <laughs> hurdle. <laughs> Look at Bayless. He is still denying Smith everything. Daphne, another three-pointer. You know, one thing I noticed about Smith, he has that ability to see the floor and hit open people. Oh, good job of pinning his man. Cyclones having their way right now. Let's check out a little earlier action here. Two-man game. Wheat goes. Meyer goes in, gets inside, takes one dribble, goes right up over the top, down for two. Good job. He's kind of going to work on the freshman Stanley, isn't he? Meyer with the chance to maybe a new career high. Update in the Big Ten. Minnesota on top of Indiana by three in the second half. 53-50. Yeah, big yeah. win for the Gophers. Hester and Carlson over there. Maybe gonna get a chance. Uh, right now, Meyer with 18. His career high is 19. 104-72. We'll see the time remaining in the game. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Fred Brown. Early. Good job. Pick Kurt him up. Smith. <laughs> You see how quick Smith is. Just a start dribble and then a crossover, and boom, he's gone by. Smith, who is one of four from the line tonight. And Rudy Washington will check back in. Daphne will check out. Daphne might be done. He scored 15, including four threes. 
One of five from the line for Smith. That brother, of course, Charles Smith. Not a bad player, huh? No. Celtic goes down, yeah, and then on to the pros. And now checking in is Alexander Serla from Yugoslavia. Coming up next on the Cyclone Television Network a week from tonight, be back here in Ames, and Nebraska Cornhuskers pay a visit. We'll have that one for you live here on CTN at 7 o'clock. Oh, good job of finding an open man. And Brown will go to the line to earn it as Slater picks up the foul. Kind of garbage time now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, it has been for a while. <laughs> But you know, the thing is, when you come in as a reserve in a situation like that, you want to play the game. That's the best way. So many kids think they got to come in and start just looking for the shot and shooting it. Your best to stay within the concept of the offense, try and run it, get some shots. What'd you say the most uh, points for Iowa State this year? Most points for Iowa State this year. How many? 116, was it? I'd have to look it up. Yeah, we'll have to look that up again. I forgot. Brown hit both free throws. I thought you memorized it. I hear you have a mind like a steel trap. Huh? The Hester watch is starting in the crowd. I missed it by one. 115. 115 against Bethune Cookman. Yeah, they're close already. We're going to step aside here. 3.50 to go in this one. Iowa State 106, Drake 73. I'm a real wild one. Wild one. comes the clean, fresh taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Pass up, sound part. Bud Light delivers. I'm a wild one. You never know what kind of copier dealer you got until you have a problem. But when you call a Minolta dealer, hi. This is Bart Christensen of M&M Sales Company. How may we help you? You'll always have a dealer who makes service and response a number one priority. So if you buy a Minolta copier from us, we'll leave no problem unsolved and no question unanswered. Think smart. Think safe. Think Mercury Grand Marquis. The 93 Grand Marquis continues to set the standard in its class with the safety of standard dual airbag protection and available anti-lock brakes with new electronic traction assist to help maintain traction on slippery surfaces and inclines. So think smart. Think safe. Think Mercury Grand Marquis at your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. We're in Ames, Iowa, where Iowa State is putting it to Drake. 106-73, under four minutes to go in this one. Serla with the ball. Uh, played a lot of time last year, averaged 22 minutes a game. Came back this year, got mono early, and of course, now with Smith in there, he's playing behind him at that point guard. Smith averaging about 34 minutes a game, mm -hmm. so his playing time has really been cut. Mm -hmm. And now he's got Bayless Garden. Yeah, that's no oh, picnic. Oh, man. He says, man, you got to be on the bench, Ron. Oh, yeah, Ron. <laughs> what are you doing out here? And Ron's saying, well, I'm taking a page out of Gary Thompson's book. I don't want to come out of a game like this. I want to pad my stats. <laughs> You're the kind that when you play Monopoly, I mean, you, you want all the hotels on everything, right? You want to just drum people. Get Park Place and <laughs> yeah. Park Walk. Get, the, get all the railroads, all the utilities. You want it all. I know your kind. <laughs> Long night for that man, Rudy Boy. Washington. Has but they're, they were picked for dead last in the Missouri Valley, and they've shown far more than that. Mm. Four Boy, and two. Yep, and they get they seven third in their place. last ten at home right. in the Valley. Right. Been on the road, got two big road wins in the Valley so far, so they're way ahead of schedule. 
Brown will go back to the line again. Recently lost Adrian Thomas, uh, who is ineligible. The senior that really, that, center, that really does hurt him. Yeah, that hurts him. They felt like they could compete mm -hmm. into the top uh, couple of clubs, even compete for the championship. I if think he they stayed. were right. The Valley better this year overall. The talent a little bit stronger in the Valley this year from top to bottom. That one's short, but he got the, the roll. Coach Hellhand the other night in practice, I was watching him. He was working with uh, Fred Brown on his free throws, trying to get the elbow in a little, get the better rotation to the ball. In fact, as I was listening to him, I think he was talking about uh, Jeff Hornacek when he was here. Had his elbow out, didn't get good rotation. Mm. Practice and practice, shooting four or 500 shots a day, probably, and now developed into one of the best shooters uh, in the NBA. Particularly him outside, he's always a good free throw shooter. Brown tried to throw it down, didn't get it, and he's fouled by Stanley. I just read something from Mark Price of the Cavaliers, and he, they asked him his main tip for shooting free throws. He said two things: you got to bend your legs, and you got to keep your elbow in. You know, those two things. I'll pass that around to Johnny Pittman and <laughs> some other free throw shooters around the league. Of course, uh, my uh, my deal is uh, these people are happy. <laughs> Anybody who shoots under 50% from the line goes to that Johnny Pittman School of Free Throw Shooting. And well, Brown is six for has, six. Give me Hellahan. I bet he's going to take credit for that improved yeah, uh, free throw shooting too. Yeah. <laughs> six for six for Brown. His his percentage will go way up. Oh, what a play there by Brown! Tight rope on the sideline puts it up. No, Meyer. Oh. He'll have to earn it yep. at the line, and he might get a new career high. Well, tonight's DuPont Extra Zine 2 off the bench player. What do you think, Gary? I think you got to go with Howard Eaton, Howard don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, just two points shy of his career high of 21. Let's watch Howard go to work here. Hitting the boards once, doesn't get it. Grabs it up quick right there and down for two. Howard Eaton or... DuPont extra zine two off the bench player. The people who go no till go extra zine two. Dave, we got a discrepancy with uh, your <laughs> crack statistician. You got 20, he's got 19, so we'll have to get have the official. For Meyer? <laughs> All right, well, you're probably right. He's right. He's always right. I mean, I don't know why I even <laughs> question it. The way he ties his career high with that free throw, Lord Meyer. Well, I, I know what I did. I gave him credit for a free throw, and I don't think he hit. He's got to get off the snide. You know that? Yeah. He's no points so far. He's 0 for 7 from the field. Hasn't shot a free throw. Officially. <laughs> yeah, we're going to ISO Hess. <laughs> yep. Over and back. And Hester watch continue. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, nail biting time for Hester. Hester has scored in his Iowa State career. He did that last year. Oh, yeah. We uh, documented that here on CTN. Rear high is two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice move by the big guy. I should say. Stanley with seven. Carlson gets it to Hester. That's pressure, man, every time you touch it. Beach him for three. I said Hurl always finds that three-point arc, doesn't he? 
115 79. That ties their season high. Good, good dash. Oh, and a good block by Bivens. Bivens. Tip, tip. Oh, goes to Drake. Drake two on one. Uh oh. Serla kicks it out of bounds. 119 to go. You know, Serla is from Yugoslavia. It almost looked like, I think, his reaction for soccer, like he wanted to get his foot on that ball. Yeah. <laughs> Probably he's played a lot of soccer. Iowa State beat Bethune Cookman 115 57. Oh, they had him open on the inside. <laughs> Bivens throws up a wild one, gets his own rebound. Again and again and again. Oh, who's going to get this one? Brown. There he is. <laughs> Hester, Hester, Hester! Wow! Oh, there <laughs> Boy, did he square up, didn't he? <laughs> wow, wow, wow! He's about watching. Fake squares up to the basket, goes up, nothing but net. Hey! <laughs> And that one Five broke up. the record for the season as far as uh, points in a game. Wait. Beecham. Bivens went down hard. It will stay with Iowa State. As long as they're playing the game, we got to look now whether he gets his career high. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good ISO work in the truck, too, man. Bivens, Hester, rebound, strip. Oh. He was hacked. He was hacked. <laughs> Another one. A steal for Hester. Boy, oh, he's padding his stats. Bivens. Oh. Wow. Just caught it off stride a little bit, or he was going to knock it down. Clones won at 119, 81.